Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. My name is Saika and today we're continuing the legendary uh, blind playthrough on uh, Grandmaster mode. It's time to finish this mission without taking too much damage, eliminate all seed carriers, I think it's three, four of them, uh, extract a few yellow seeds and profit. That's really what we want to do. Get three requisition whilst doing that we're having grenades as always we're having our ranged uh, team I like that um, just double checking with Ubuntu here we're not having the ranged weapons yet uh, Epi theoretically I think can now um, have Psy Lancers let's just double check what that means uh, in terms of Psy Cannons well we don't have another level 3 Psy Cannon. If we had one, that would be great. And currently this here is certainly not good enough to justify switching weapons. So we're just going to stay with the Bolter because frankly our Bolter is better than the Psy Cannon. Precision Bombardment was fun for a while. Now it is no longer fun. High Sanctuary is I think the way to go or alternatively just getting rid of any form of afflictions that is nice as well gateway to infinity will be mostly used so uh, in order to get uh, around from a to b and that's really all we got uh, i think it uh, is a good team setup and i'm having a lot of fun with that support fire uh, style of play so join me when we're killing all of chaos. Hmm. The ultramarines appear to have been holding this ground until a recent Death Guard assault. Curious. I would not have expected Nurgle to use direct force to lay the groundwork for the bloom. Yes. The Plague Lord's methods are generally more indirect. Perhaps this skirmish held some other work. All right, yellow seats. One, two, three, and four. And then we need to hold on for two more rounds afterwards. Moving out. Good, starting to move out. Before we're triggering right. anything. Move up. Storm. Yes, Commander. Moving now. Your orders. This my trigger. No, it does not. But it raises the question, why shouldn't we do like this here? Potentially a very easy uh, way of getting into them. Yeah, that was the right call. We will not fail against this menace. Taking cover. Why do they get a turn? You cannot harm me. They won't Beautiful. Good, we need to have more than one uh, action point left over. So for starters, we want to have to deal with any of that affliction. I am here to serve. Then, or luckily for us, we do have an interruption here. The gateway to infinity, um, unfortunately for us, takes away one action point. I think what happened is we were teleported there, our turn ended because the action point was gone. Claim the seed. Uh, 
Not sure why we're getting afflicted here. Ready to serve. Good. Time to get rid of all of the armor. Fantastic. And the cover as well, that is. Plague doesn't stack, it just, yeah. This one will. Oh, nice. Praise the Emperor. All right. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. There's the support fire. Lovely. For the Emperor! I am the wrath of Zypos! Yeah, the support fire is great, specifically when you can remove all of the cover like I just did. On the way. What is your will? At your command. Okay, so far it's so good. The Emperor lights our path. And there's I the kill. His... <laughs> cool. Now, where are the other seat carriers? Next one is up there. As you can appreciate, we don't want to trigger them right away. Instead, we want to wait one round so that the uh, support fire is back up and running. Good, end of turn, we're getting some take damage, but that doesn't really matter. Ready. Enemy sighted. Right. No. No. Well, it's, we don't have teleportation then, which is what it is. It will be done. Removing all cover. No knockback. Eat this holy hand grenade. Ooh. Fabulous. Threaded. I want those seats. Thank you. All 
right. Yeah. Moving into the middle of them. <laughs> Let's go. You had an anti-demon weapon, right? Oh yeah. Titan! Ready to serve. Sure, let's warp charge. Now that's just one. Too bad. But this isn't bad. Overall, it'll be helpful. Vulnerable just deals a lot of damage. Hit points, Praise but we eventually made it through. Moving swiftly. Good firing position up here. Like it. That's what I'm talking about. Death to the enemy. Look, why not? Oh, let's kill this guy. Reload required. This here is a bit of a problem. We don't have support fire, nor do we have a lot of other abilities here. I want to make sure that we're not. Yes, Commander. Uh, we're not just running in. And then we're too far away to affect them. I should have waited for support fire. It is an enemy most worthy. So spotted. Give me that. I am with you. Move into cover and crack grenade. That should remove most of the cover. I start to love crack grenades because they don't knock back. But sometimes they're setting up explosions. Well, listen, too good to not take it. The Emperor specifically likes the holy hand grenades. Remember, we don't have any uh, support fire, so I am here to serve. Work with what we have. 
Great damage. The enemy is wounded. Followed up by great damage. Need more rounds. Storm. Oh! You have been judged. Oh, you certainly have been judged. As you will. For the Emperor. Cool. A couple of bonus uh, seats here. You can never have enough seats. Last seat carrier is all the way up there. With the doors, we might be able to nicely jump onto them. Unfortunately, we don't have a gate of infinity left over. Without the gateway, of course, things are slowing down a bit. Ready to serve. In an instant. On the way. And turn. <sighs> Could have just cured them. Uh, the uh, purified uh, the plague, but it's okay. We're healing now Yes, commander All right interesting Crack grenade would be fantastic. Give me those seats. That's all the seats accounted for, Commander. But there are warp disturbances emerging nearby. We will begin teleport extraction immediately. Yeah, perfect uh, slot for a spawn because we do have grenades and whoever spawns here has a good chance of just like being pushed down. What is your will? Abby moves up, moves in. Interrupts this guy. There's a decent chance that we can maybe knock him off. Eh, not really. But we can remove the cover and deal enough damage to all of them. The Emperor loves the use of holy hand grenades. And one more for these guys. I am here to serve. With alacrity. 
But that allows us to approach him without his I stupid melee retaliation. Could have used that as well. Praise the Emperor. Support fire. To killing this guy. Very good. Death is our creed here. Hmm, Astro Aim is not a bad uh, suggestion. Okay, good, yeah, well. Interesting. Interesting insta kill. Okay, we really F the enemies up quite well here. Yeah, and we only need. Fantastic, that's the best possible spawn there. All of them are, are melees and super far away. That is not such a great spawn because uh, I can't push them over the edge. Fatty make fat fat here is unfortunately immune to the pushback. But. There is no reason not to use the holy hand grenades. Feel my wrath. Yes, Commander. Even this one will fall. Good. That's a nice little kill. I am the Emperor's Fury. I am here to serve. We bring death. One. Ah, we don't have enough willpower. Well, we can still give it a go. Feel my still very, very adequate damage. At your command. Coward. Your order. 
lose. Grenades, but we can move up here. We can reload. And we cannot set anything there. Never mind. End of turn. I think we're almost done. Get this guy. Uh, where is... There we are. Plenty of enemies down there, fair enough. Unleash me! It will be done. Praise the Emperor. Vortama. Death to the enemy. Remove cover. For the Emperor! I must rearm. Unleash me. What works? Moving up here. Feel my Arms. Yeah, they won't be able to reach us. Mercy in death. Yeah. Out order. Cool. Go ahead. Show me what you got. <laughs> He's recovered. Beginning teleportation. Very good. That was a straightforward mission. The gateway to infinity is becoming such a crutch for us because teleportation is is just incredibly good in this game there's a reason why it doesn't exist in XCOM very good we I think we have not taken a lot of damage 15 seats so we got ourselves blind grenade don't like that too much um, abjuration of the faceless that is 3 willpower, 30 resistance, and additional movement speed. It's all around a pretty good armor if it is upgraded. The movement speed, I value that highly. The 3 willpower, not bad. Who, who's wearing uh, that armor? Uh, Purchasers, generally. Uh, 
yeah, yeah, pretty much uh, that. Most of the other classes were Terminator armor purgators and interceptors. For interceptors, the movement speed could be good. Extra willpower isn't bad either. But of course, having kind of an extra equipment slot is better. Uh, what is this you're going to do? More healing. And biomancies can last for an additional turn. It's generally good. I would say life giver is fine. This one isn't bad either. These are okay. These are okay, but we could get another one of uh, these, a higher level one. The web, uh, the armor is also good. I would say it's good, but not great. Uh, that would be my assessment here. This isn't bad. It is exactly what I wanted from uh, the weapons. Biomancies plus one turn is good, and. And it is up to 8 healing, so the base heal is good as well. I think this is a uh, ser uh, serviceable or palatable weapon. Uh, this one here, it's okay. It's great, potentially not. It's bad. No, no, certainly not. It has a little bit of everything. Might as well take it. Look at that, got another level up uh, grade. This here is good. I think we could use it for this team in particular, the armor shifting. And we have coincidentally uh, balanced our XP very nicely. The interceptor, for whatever reason, is the one this time having the least amount of experience, which is atypical for an interceptor. So in terms of armor, just want to double check my assessment there. So uh, in terms of armor types, right? So well, we definitely do have enough armor now. The passive equipment slots, good. And the movement speed isn't bad either, so uh, where is Epi? No, Ubuntu, Storm. sorry. Uh, if we were to upgrade it, this is an easy one. This is an easy one. Yeah, we just need to, uh, the movement speed. Focus, a little bit less resistance. This one here has more willpower, which is good. More resistance and movement speed. And this one here does have focus instead. So I would say these are pretty much on par. With the exception that this here is already upgraded with uh, a small hit point exception. We still need purple seeds and red seeds in particular. Okay. Nikki, let's give you that new Norcathium. And before we're upgrading it, let's wait whether or not we find something else. I mean, it's certainly an upgrade to to trauma self deals more damage to begin with and we can have the same biomancies plus one turn duration uh, but the healing would also be much much stronger good we got four four five five we need to get back to here And a bit of an exterminatus would be helpful as well. Just reducing that bloom spawn.
finally got level 3 ship speed. That was so overdue. Repairing the Ojorium. Ignoring, gently ignoring that warp storm. I have unpleasant news. My sword bearers encountered an impenetrable field of warp storms en route to your sector and had to withdraw. I fear that the Plague Lord actively intervenes to protect this Morbus. So you will stop sending us aid? No, Inquisitor. Your need is great. And I have yet one gambit to deploy. Through great difficulty, I acquired the loan of a small null ship whose price in favors it would be painful to recount. These ships cannot carry much, but have weathered passage through the Eye of Terror, and I believe will be able to reach you. I like Commander, upgrades. tell me what your campaign most requires. I will do my utmost to provide. Is that all? Very well. I will have powerful seals prepared to anoint your arms and armor and send them via the Null Ship. I will pray to the Emperor. And so they finally take our plight seriously. Just think. It broke us. So is that a permanent minus one reduction? I think it is. Nice, which means all of uh, the upgrades come in cheaper. Okay, that's not bad. We still need seats, so let's not fool ourselves. There we go. Encounter the mass spreading event. Uh, this is a fantastic mission for us. 20 servitors might be able to get there and this one here is okay. It's okay. Oh, we got another one over here. Listen, since we need to get here anyways, there is no point in even debating what else we will be doing because we are going to cleanse this heret heretical planet cleanse the filth off of it and what do we get when mission without any master crafted weapon or armor <laughs> nah, no thank you so we're getting one requisition a second one here uh, yeah we're okay uh, could get a staff but let's and the servitor yeah, we're not going to do this, although it is great, but I am not going to do that. We have blue and red, which we both uh, still need. Uh, purple would be up here. And this one here is pure red, right? Yeah. Can we theoretically reach that? No. Can we theoretically reach that? No. Can we theoretically reach that? No. Cool. Without the prognosticars, life sucks. Because we can only do one mission at a time. Yeah. Good. We're going to do that uh, the next time with our ranged support fire team. And we're only getting one requisition, but that's okay. Uh, we got our Inquisitor with us. Uh, that's fine as well. Yeah, we're not going to do that deed. I think it is quite clear this time that we want High Sanctuary here. Got Tide of Shadows, got the healing. So, since we're staying there for multiple rounds, this is too good to not take it. Uh, gateway to Infinity, cool, but not that needed. Healing is needed and uh, purification is needed. So that's good. We got the grenades. We, I mean, we got all of uh, the equipment. I'm actually quite happy with how the team has turned out uh, so far. And if we play our cards right, there's potentially another uh, level up. This team 
is playing very very differently to our melee madness team from beforehand uh, but I like how they are playing. In terms of uh, the last team that we do have available we do have a librarian uh, with uh, uh, with uh, ranged Psy Bolter. We got um, the Paladin and the Chaplain and I'm trying to stun as much as possible here. I think uh, by thinking about that, since it should be the stun team, um, I believe what we could do is we could also go to here and then uh, go for Price of Power because we want the Psychic uh, Shriek ability. That is so important. Yeah, that is so important, so we need to spec into that for the stun team. Uh, I'm willing to not take teleportation then, for now, and basically use this and this, and then we're exploring a little bit down here with uh, the Aegis, or up here with Warp uh, Surge, and we're leaving the OP abilities out, just so that we're seeing how the Librarian works in a stun team. This here, together with uh, the Paladin uh, stun, and the Chaplain, um, uh, and the Chaplain, what is this called? Doctrine, I think. What's it called? Uh, discipline, litany of uh, hate. Uh, this together is is good. I like it. So um, each knight who executes an enemy gains an additional AP, and that in itself is great. So all we need uh, then is enough stunning, and. I will play the um, Paladin, for instance, not only as a stunner with that um, hammer, but uh, the armor with the grenades will come in handy. Potential, maybe, maybe even for the li uh, for the librarian, because the librarian himself. Um, wait, he does have a melee weapon that isn't too bad, right? So, uh, when he executes someone, everybody gains willpower. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, I think that we should give him the the armor that allows uh, grenades, and then we're just stacking the stun grenades as well. Three stun uh, stun grenades should be fine. That's uh, just additional uh, stun on multi on multi target. So with that, we should have enough stun to give it a go and uh, if stun doesn't work we still have ranged weapon and a couple of melee weapons so I think the team will be fun to play as well we're going to see what uh, or how good uh, that stun ba battle team is uh, is going to be without teleportation it's a bit meh but we will work around it with our gateway to infinity that's all I had for today, really. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I appreciate your viewership. If you uh, want to leave a comment and a like down below, that would be much appreciated. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.